wouldn't be a fan of this GSP fight if you ever came back there, right? Two of your faves. Oh well, the problem with that is that like one of like one of the two greatest, I think, most iconic role models of the sport is going to get their mm. legacy tarnished a little bit, and I don't think it's needed. Neither guy needs the money. Mm. Like, maybe maybe they can fight, you know, quietly behind closed doors. <laughs> I watch Dana talk about the fight after and say, I don't disagree with Glover. I think now it becomes a matter of when are Jan, when is Jan available? When is Israel available? Jan coming out publicly and going, he deserves it. Is it can wait till he, that's great for Glover, but it's hard to really get the organization off that path of, Oh, this is the next big thing. Whenever, it starts to come to fruition, especially when Monday morning you you hear uh, we may do Israel versus Jan in the world blow ups. Right. If it's met with a little bit of lukewarm reaction, eh, maybe. But when it, it when it blows up and it gets as hot as it does and mostly because of what may come next, because listen, Izzy Jan is a great fight. But what Izzy Jan does, it puts you a little bit closer to what may come next. The all. That's the big, it's two big fights, right? That fight leads to two fights. It leads to Izzy Jan, Izzy Jones. Mm. Um, Glover Teixeira, I just don't know if that'll be enough. I would hope so. I want to make, I want to be very clear. I hope Glover Teixeira gets the fight for the title next. <laughs> Just even from a striking battle, this is a fascinating matchup. Um, how would you see John Jones, you know, taking on a guy like Israel Adesanya, which, you know, does seem like they're on a bit of a collision course to, to happen at some point? You talking about striking wise? Um, you know, striking wise, here's the deal. John's fought some big, tall, long guys before, and uh, um, and he's done well. You know, the first fight with Gustafson, um, you know, wasn't 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 John John's great night by any means. Lack of, 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 of not all John Jones was there for many reasons that fight, but uh, he's already fought a lot of long guys. I'm not sure if, if, if Izzy's fought a John Jones before as far as length goes, and definitely nobody's fought John Jones as far as skill set goes. I know everybody that's come in my gym, they're big heavyweights. They come in, and I think they uh, immediately are surprised by how, how, how big John's presence is in the cage when they start working out with him. <laughs> Here's the big question to me going into this fight, DC. I don't think we have ever been in recent memory, since at least I've been doing this, this late into a year where there isn't a clear cut fighter of the year. This is crazy in the male divisions, right? Fighter of the year. There is, is it possible if Kevin Holland wins his fifth <laughs> fight in 2020 that Kevin Holland is the male fighter of the year? We could go down the line. Like, usually it's a champion, right, DC? Usually it's a champion yeah, yeah, that yeah. has the. Okay, Stipe fought once, right? Gilbert, uh, Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns not, hasn't been in the conversation. He's fought two, two or three times. The, the Gilbert Burns fight in 2020? The guy hasn't fought in like eight months. I mean, let's he be honest. He fought twice. He fought in June. He yeah, fought in. You better, you better, you gotta chill with the Gilbert just, Burns. I'm just saying, come on. Gilbert, no, Burns, like, Gilbert Burns went from being the Cowboy Cerrone of, of the UFC to being like, I'm just gonna squat on my because title. Because it's his title okay, fight, just, right? Just, I understand. But like, I think Gilbert Burns is in the conversation okay. because 
higher level, the high level of competition that he fought. If Kevin Holland gets past Jack Hermanson, yeah. But but here's the issue, man. Anytime you have guys that are fighting for championships, immediately it just jumps a guy that's kind of fighting. Now, Davis and Figueredo. The kid, I was right? bring him Davis up. and Figueredo fights and beats uh, um, Alex uh, Perez. Perez. Now you're looking at a guy in Davis and Figueredo who knocked out Joe Benavidez at the end of last year, right at right no, no, at the very no. end, right? Early this year. He's he'd be three. Was that in December or January? February. Okay, in February, he knocks him out. They don't give him the belt. Right. Comes back, beats Joe B up again, gets the belt. He beats Alex Perez impressively. Now you're looking at a guy that's a champion that's fought three times, that won the belt, defended the belt. You kind of lean towards a guy like that. Points because he missed weight. Yeah, but then going back and beating Joe in an official title fight in the way that he did, and then say he looks impressive against Perez, how do you deny that? So I would like to think that there's a world that we live in where a guy like Kevin, who is now starting to make his way up the ranks, can become the fighter of the year. But I don't think that that's possible right now. There's not a clear-cut answer. And there's another one. I'm surprised you didn't mention him. Your boy Hamza, the Hamza. Right, if he so, wins on December nineteenth, still again, though, I just think that we're not we don't live in a world where a guy that isn't holding the championship is considered fight of the year. 